Hello, I'm here to teach how to install user sites on Wartender uh, in the most recent update. Uh, I don't remember the update's name, I just know that I played the game and suffered. So right now I have the base basic site, the one everyone has when they start. And I'm gonna teach how to navigate the sites menu. Yeah, my game is in a different uh, uh, language, but you don't need to know the language, you just need to know what every menu does. So to start, you first need to find your Wartender download folder. You can find it on Steam by right-clicking the Wartender icon on Steam, going to Properties, uh, Installed Files, or whatever the third option is, and then Explore. And right here, you're gonna be automatically open the Wartender folder. In here, you either will or not have a folder called User Sites. If you don't have it, you can just go New Folder, and then name it user sites with the capital U and S on the respective words. Then inside user sites, you may have a, f a bunch of uh, uh, stuff if you already have it. If you just created the user sites folder, you would need to create an all thanks folder with uh, all lowercase letters and underline like this all underline thanks in lowercase. Now you can find the sites you want to download, you download the site. Wait for download, you copy the zip file into the site folder, you unzip it, right here, you have to drag it over here for it to work. It needs to be the raw notepad files or whatever files it is, it needs to be on the all things uh, folder, it cannot be inside the secondary folder. Then you close it, you close both, you go back to our tender, then you gotta press Alt F9 and then you go into options and search for sites here and then you go into site settings. When you're into site settings there's a bunch of menus and it all seems very complicated but I'm gonna explain each one uh, for you. The first one is the, the saved sites you want. So if you make a custom site where you have this here and this here and whatever the fuck you can save the definition Give it a name, and every time you want to access it, you just go here and, and you access it. All of these are preset sites that Wartender has it uh, has already. So if you if you ever want to use one uh, realistic site that Wartender itself made, you can go here. But since you are creating your own sites, you go to user sites. So you, in user sites, you can select the red call, and this is where you so you will find the sites you just downloaded. So you select the sites you want. And, and you can select the color like this, see? You can change the background color for when you go into thermals, like this. You can change the thermals and night vision, all that. I recommend you leave it as default. That's always the best option. Hold on. You can customize it as much as you want though. So I'm gonna make it black for default. Then you select your reticle. You're gonna see that the custom site you downloaded is here. And you're gonna go to range finder. On range finder, you can leave it on or off. If you leave it off, it's just gonna be a random number here. If you turn it on, you're gonna you can move the range finder around and select where it goes. So if I have the range finder on right here, I can place it like here or here, and I can edit everything again. Same thing. Te text color, background color, which I normally leave as uh, nothing, empty. Uh, night vision test text, night vision background text, and all that. There's the text color and the background color for the thermos, night vision, all that. Then you can also select the size of the text, if you want. Small, medium, or large. I leave it on medium. In the you can also select the font. I just, that's personal preference. This one is the progress bar, so as you range find it, the progress is gonna go up, and you can select the color of the progress bar. This one is the, the part where it's gonna wait for the progress event. So basically if I leave this black and white and I save it and I go to test it, when I range find you see, the the part the, the, the black part is how long it has to, to how long it still is to finish the range finding. And the the white part, this one, is how much it is before it ends. You can leave it like this which is uh, what I recommend, because the back or the, the part before it's done, it's gonna be transparent, so you can still see behind it. Uh, 
Uh, this one is the third rotation. It basically shows the rotation of your tank compared to the third rotation. This is the same thing, color, night vision color and everything. You can leave it as default, that's my best, uh, that's what I recommend. This is the field of view, FOV. You can uh, basically have this as it shows how your tank's gonna look when you zoom in. So you can see from my TDU, you can see the little squares, then the, the square uh, uh, corners. When I zoom in, it fills in the whole screen. So field of view basically shows you how the screen is gonna, uh, how how much is gonna fill uh, your screen when you zoom in. So you can base that to uh, place your stuff around. So if you want this to be uh, always at the top of the screen, you leave it on the top of the field of view. So when either if you're zoomed in or zoomed out, it's gonna always be on the top of your screen. This one just tells you where if your reload is ready or not. I don't know the name in English correctly, but it's, the, it's right under the field of view. So if you turn it on, it's basically gonna tell you how long you have until you have finished reloading, very easy. This uh, uh, first option tells you if the reload uh, is ready or not. The second one just tells you how long it is. You can have either just the dot or the timer. You can change the size of the text, the font and the colors, just like any uh, the other options. Here is the ammo type. You can uh, turn it on and it's gonna tell you what ammo you have loaded on your tank. So again, you can uh, have its short name or the type name, uh, the color for each one. I'll leave it as red because it's better. Oops. The size and the font. And lastly, it's the overall settings. Here you can turn it on and you can change uh, the size of the the lines, so you can make them bolder or less bold, and you can make the size of the text right here change as well. So this is normally the sites I use. I just save like this, and now if you go in, you can see everything you you did on your settings is gonna appear on your sites, and the position you leave them is also gonna change. So there it is. Range find it as much as you want. Have one. Customize your sites, and that's it. See ya.